Hi, my name's Ben. I'm a professional painter and decorator. I've been in the industry now for around about 20 years. We've been using the Q1 product range for a while now. This week we're on a medium-sized project that's going to require spray painting. There's various areas in the building that need to be masked, from Velux windows to picture frame windows. And this window here, we're going to be using pre-taped drop-down film to cover the windows and get some lovely sharp edges along the top. Now we've finished with the drop down film, it's time to tidy up the edges with the UV precision tape. I'm now masking up the sockets using the Q1 general purpose masking tape. Now we're going to use a Wagner high efficiency airless sprayer for emulsion paint. Whenever I'm painting walls and ceilings a different colour, I'll need to let the ceilings dry first to allow me to tape up using the pre-taped film from Q1. To start with, I'll be using the Q1 precision tape to get a nice sharp line. We've just applied the Q1 precision tape, now it's time to put the Q1 pre-tape film on. It's actually got static on it as well, which means it's a lot easier to handle single-handedly. Now we're going to unravel the film, and as you can see, with the static charge, it makes it really easy as it clings to the ceiling but just to be on the safe side I will add a little bit of tape every 60 centimetres or so just so we don't get anything dropping. Now it's time to remove the masking tape and see the results. Now the masking tape's been removed, you can see we've got some lovely clean sharp edges. There were lots of windows, corners and edges that needed to be painted, which would have taken ages to cut in using a paintbrush. Masking up for spray painting does take slightly longer, but providing you're using a premium masking tape like Q1, the overall project is completed quicker and the quality of the finish is better. I think the results speak for themselves. <laughs>